exactly the right page. officially noon, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, as you can probably read, we're talking about project management yoga, which is not such a stretch. Sorry, I've got to talk there. Um, just a caveat, this is going to be a super informal presentation. Uh, you may be moving around a little bit, and uh, we're really excited to get started. So, who are we? Um, I am on the left, that's me, and my daughter, Zelda. She's the light of my life. Um, and I am the project management guru. I have some experience working at an agile company in the Ann Arbor area. We are both students graduating from the university in about three weeks now, something like two that. Two weeks, two days. I'm not counting. She's not counting at all. None of us are. Um, yeah, so I'll be handling the project management side of it. And, and I'm Amanda Grayson. Uh, my background's in user experience design, uh, but I also have practiced yoga for the last like six years or so, and I had the opportunity uh, two years ago to really learn um, from a mentor that I was working with in India and um, really became passionate about the impact that yoga can have in your daily life and how you can kind of take it off the mat and into the world and into what you're doing day to day. Kind of use the mindfulness that it creates and the focus and determination and um, pull that into kind of the rest of your life. And Andy's background with project management, we thought this would be kind of a good um, fitting topic. Yeah, plus I also really like yoga, um, Greek yoga in general. Oh wait, that's yogurt, never mind, wrong thing. Um, but yeah, so moving ahead. So today we will be covering the building blocks of project management, moving on to the building blocks of yoga, more about the yoga metaphor, how do these two things connect, and then after that, a brief yoga flow for those that are interested. If you're not, um, we just ask that you don't like stare at people while they are doing the yoga club. Um, we won't judge you if you head out and get lunch. Yeah, yeah, no worries. We are flexible. So, <laughs> moving ahead. Um, yeah, you're getting a lot of really bad jokes from this. So, takeaways from this presentation, you're going to get the opportunity to move and stretch and get that blood flowing. It's a really good stress relief, um, a legal stress relief too, which is nice. Um, you get a refresher on the project management cycle, if it's something that you've heard about before, you have no idea what it is, whatever. Um, and then also a really fun yoga flow that you could incorporate in your team building because who doesn't want to see your team in spandex? All right. <laughs> Theoretical question. Yes. <laughs> okay, so building blocks of project management, specifically relating to Agile. So what is project management? It's all about flexibility and being able to sort of modify things as you go based off of any problems or any strength and just kind of working with what comes up rather than you know having a rigid set of instructions and then having no room for change um, and error actually. So um, it's also all about cycles. So especially with Agile when you have your sprints and, and during these cycles it may seem a little repetitive and that you're doing the same thing, but every cycle is actually different because obviously you're working on a different project, you've got different problems, and each cycle is iterative. So you're gonna learn from previous cycles and you're gonna say, oh Jim is really bad at, well not really bad, you're gonna phrase it a little differently, especially to him. Jim's not the strongest at this thing, so perhaps we'll have him do a different uh, a different design or a different part of the team for the next cycle. And you just keep moving and keep growing on the path to optimal success, and then until you are unstoppable and a superhero in project management. Also, project management is all about communication. You need to work as a team, check in daily, uh, communication is really important, especially because you don't want two people accidentally working on the same thing. Um, that's kind of a big waste of time. And also you don't want no people working on something because that also is unfortunate. So just communication, making sure everyone's on the same page, making sure that things are getting done and things are getting done in a way that you want them to. So, And also, um, as I briefly touched on before with iteration, it's all about growth. So you build from your strengths, and you balance your weaknesses, you improve on your weaknesses, and you just kind of keep going, once again, to that path of optimum success. All right, so also focus, you gotta keep your team's energy directed. Um, it's really easy to get distracted by a bunch of like really cool gifs of cats and stuff, and like, all sorts of random things. I've definitely done that before. Um, so just kind of keeping them focused on what they should be focused on and making sure that you hit your project goals. 
Dang it, you added more slides. All right, also consistency. Um, you gotta build the habit. So if you are introduced to project management, like that's all well and good, you gotta actually stick with it. It's kind of like um, getting a, a new skin routine and only doing it for one day. You're not gonna get anything out of that. <laughs> Something, all of you, um, I don't know. <laughs> I got two cups of coffee and that's it today. So you know what? Whatever, we're moving ahead. Next slide, your turn. <laughs> So uh, you just kind of got the building blocks of project management, which I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with. Um, and I'm gonna go over the building blocks of yoga, what um, components make up a daily yoga practice um, or should make up a daily yoga practice. So again, we see flexibility on the screen. Uh, I think this is kind of expected, it's yoga. Um, you're stretching yourself both mentally and physically. You're really pushing um, to make sure that you're you know, moving your muscles and uh, kind of growing in that flexibility as you practice daily. It's cycles. Um, in yoga, we call these vinyasa flows, um, but it's just cycles. It's a bunch of poses that are put together into um, one continuous flow that allows you to connect breath to movement. And this is important both in project management, going through that, that daily cycle or the monthly cycle, whatever cycle you um, agree upon in your project management style. Um, yoga is the same. You can incorporate different cycles, but um, putting those together and letting each pose connect. And then with, within each of the cycles, we have the iteration. And the iteration in yoga is the breath. And you, you iterate by breathing. Um, usually it's around what, two or three times through each pose, and this deepens it. And just like you iterate um, within the specific components of the cycle, um, you want to allow the breath to kind of improve uh, what you're doing and kind of push that flexibility. Um, in Sanskrit, this is called pranayama. And um, the prana part is the breath, um, kind of the breath of life. And the yama is the focus, the drive, and um, kind of like the push. Uh, communication, you know, you're not working with a team per se, you, you're usually just with yourself. Um, but, I mean, unless you're doing partner yoga. Um, but you're communicating with your body as you move through these, these um, poses and checking in because, you know, you're, you have your right and your left side, and you're you're kind of making sure that both sides are getting equal attention. You're not like uh, leaning on just one side too much. You know, your whole body is balanced. And growth. You know, you're growing as you do this. You're growing in your flexibility, your strength. You're um, you know you're lowering your blood pressure. You're growing mentally as you focus um, yourself towards a physical movement. You can really push yourself mentally to um, stay balanced and stay in that moment. And it's. It's about that, um, like, I guess, focus. Focus. Um, in Sanskrit, this is called drishti, and it's the focus gaze. It means you're developing concentrated in intention, and it's really important when you're in a pose where you're like legs out, your arms out, and you know you're you're balancing to find a spot on the opposite wall and concentrate on that, and that's going to make sure that you're not going to like fall over. And this is the same with project management. You know, you need a focus, that project goal to work towards, and um, this is going to keep you on track. And you're not going to kind of go sideways. You know, figure out the scope of the project and keep it all within that. And lastly, consistency. Um, you get the most benefits just like you do with project management if you practice um, the outline that you lay out and you practice yoga daily. So. Um, you're going to grow in your flexibility and your strength and get the most mental benefits, uh, lower your blood pressure. There's so many uh, benefits to yoga and you get them the most with being consistent. So as you may have noticed, uh, those slides have the same titles. Um, we did that on purpose. So this is because yoga and project management, so Yoga is a metaphor for project management. So we're going to go a little bit more in depth about that uh, metaphor. So thinking about practicing yoga just in relation to the project management, which I think I've said those words like five million times now. All right, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick a project management method. So whether it's agile or waterfall or combination, or you just kind of like throw tickets on the floor, and then you go, like, go, and then all your developers run out. Um, <laughs> I don't know what type of yoga that is, but um, yeah, so you're going to pick your project management method and you're going to go from there. And same with yoga. You, do you want to be in a hot room and sweat a lot? Do you want to do a vinyasa flow, like cycles of certain poses, or do you want to do ashtanga yoga? And there's so many more different styles of yoga that you can choose. I thought ashtanga was a type of dance. Also yoga. All right. 
So um, after you have picked what method, uh, you're gonna stick to the plan. You don't really wanna change halfway through because that's gonna get really confusing and you're gonna get a lot of emails about that. So sticking to the plan, make sure everyone understands their role, what they're doing, once again, like, oh, hey, Jim's on graphic design. We probably shouldn't put him on, I don't know, getting coffee for everyone because that's what interns do, I guess. Um, so make sure that everyone adheres to the process and that you're well informed on the system, so just well-oiled machine, working properly, that sort of thing. And on the yoga side, you're going to emphasize proper form, continue with um, the correct way of doing things. Um, you don't want to like pull anything or actually get injured. Um, and understand of the mentality kind of helps further your benefits from the practice. And so after that, uh, we get to the communication section. So this is, you know, does anyone need help? This is going to be the daily stand-ups where, what did you do yesterday? What are you working on today? Are you blocked by anything? Can we help you out? Um, so just kind of checking in, making sure that everyone's good, see if there's any, like I mentioned, blocks, that sort of thing. See if anyone's behind and make sure that we're all on the same page. No one's switching to waterfall halfway through or something along those lines. And you want to listen to your body, you know, check in with your team. Maybe not out loud, you might want to do this in your head, otherwise people will wonder why you're talking to your leg. But <laughs> does any area feel kind of tense? Does any area need attention? And are you balanced on both sides? Yeah. Um, so moving forward, uh, obviously part of staying flexible is customization as, you know, you keep going. So you discuss issues with the plan, make any changes that need to be made, um, adjust your methods. So just kind of more of that growth throughout the process and making sure that you are on the path to optimum success. And staying flexible, feeling out any issues in the muscles. You can adjust the pose as needed. You know, you might see the teacher doing one thing, but you don't have to do it exactly like that. If you can't touch the floor, your leg doesn't go all the way to your head. Um, so give the stretch enough time to actually like do its work. Don't change it halfway through. Just like you don't want to make a change and then change it again right away. You want to give it a chance to kind of um, take that. Yes. Um, so important takeaways about project management. Uh, don't let it stress you out. It's here to keep you organized, uh, keep you on track, and, and break things up into um, like kind of easier chunks to work on. Um, and it's really just about an awareness of responsibilities. And, you know, don't get caught up in perfection. Don't think that you have to do the poses exactly like how you see. Um, you know, there's all these photos of people doing yoga perfectly, but it's really just for um, your own personal um, focus, your balance, um, your mentality, and it's more of an internal contemplation. You shouldn't be um, looking outside to see what other people are doing. Um, yes. All right, so um, now we have a yoga flow inspired by project management. So. Um, some of you, oh, wait, quickly, we're going to clear the room and spread out. You guys don't have to do this, but it would be a lot less awkward for us if you did. Um, so we would really appreciate it. But once again, we're, we're not going out of the floor. These are all standing. Yep. All standing. It's, just, it's just to get you, like, moving. I know you guys have been sitting for a while, so we've had fun. Uh, get the blood moving. Got to make room for your stomach for lunch after this. <laughs> <laughs> in crisscross applesauce, so no judgment. Everyone is at their own pace, and um, you know, just don't worry about it. Judge don't worry about it. Right, so um, this is a project management cycle. You may be aware of it. Um, so there are different versions of it. This is probably the most common one, and we will be focusing on a different cycle that follows these different um, pieces. So concept and ideation, definition and planning, launching and executing, performance and control, and then project flows. And we have some handy dandy little yoga poses to help you remember this. So first we have concept and ideation. And for that, we have the mountain pose and upward salute. 
So this is a pose that really um, gets you balanced and kind of gets you ready um, to check in with your body and see what's going on. Um, you're going to start with your feet kind of uh, close together but a little bit apart. And it, you know, you might think you're just standing here, but it's actually kind of an active pose. You're trying to um, lift up the muscles in your leg, um, lift up your kneecaps, and balance your whole body over your ankles. So it's really, you can check yourself against the wall if you want to. Um, and then arms go down to your sides and the fingers spread out. And you can kind of close your eyes um, to test the balance in this pose. If you're lifting everything, your shoulder blades come back. Um, you feel like your hips centered over your, your ankles. And everything should really be centered as you kind of like, you can move side to side, lift up your toes. Like if you're wearing socks, you'd be li lifting up your toes and kind of checking that you're balanced in the balls of your feet. Um, and this gets you ready to um, move into, you know, the more um, active poses, just like the concept of the ideation. And from here, you're gonna take a deep breath and swing your arms up and stretch your fingers to the sky. And you're gonna keep that balance centered in the middle of your body and stretch to the sky. And then as you breathe out, you can bring your hands back to center. Are you guys familiar with yoga? You can pick it up at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> it's also in the Star Wars movie. So you just um, took it in the environment, you're ready to begin, your concept, your plan is um, kind of going forward, maybe you like know what cycle you're going to go into from here. Great, so um, next step, we're building our little donut, is uh, definition and planning. So this is forward fold and sitting chair pose. And this is a chance to really stretch out hamstrings, um, get them ready to do work. So as you, you can bring back up into forward salute, and then you're gonna fold forward on the exhale. And it doesn't matter where your hands come to, whether it's the floor, because you're a show off, or you know. Exactly. Yeah, you can rest your hands on your um, your kneecaps. You, you can put them on your, on your thighs, wherever's comfortable. Um, once again, this is like checking in with your body, seeing what works. Don't push yourself too far, because um, I don't think we have health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> And then you can move to the right and to the left, as Amanda will uh, show you. Yeah, so kind of rocking your knees back and forth, um, stretching out the hamstrings and the back. Um, this is really great if you've been sitting uh, for long hours, just letting your body kind of like loosen up, kind of let the hands swing if you want, and let the head drop so that you're not holding tension in your back. And then from here, you're gonna bend your knees and kind of sit down as if you're sitting it into an imaginary chair. And this stretches out um, like your quads and kind of fires up the leg muscles. And you can fire up your hands if you want to by bringing them up, or you can you know, stretch them out if that's more comfortable. Um, and this is kind of like strengthening the leg muscles, um, firming the back and the arms, depending on where you're holding. And you can take a break if you need to, because this pose yeah. is so you can come up and back center. Nice. All right. So, uh, next piece is launch and execute. So this is going to be warrior one and warrior two. Uh, these are positions that are really active. You need a strong base for holding them. So these are like the majority of your work. Um, named after a famous word, they're supposed to um, kind of let go of um, things that don't matter and like you're like fully in the, the position now. Um, so you can step your foot back and kind of um, keep it at a 45 degree, a little bit less than a 45 degree angle. Yep, you so you're pivoting your back foot, and yep. then you keep your front foot straight, yeah. pointed forward. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, so good. And then you're gonna bend your knee, keeping it over your ankle. Yep. And you can, I mean, you don't have to go all the way down if you want. Um, we're gonna use our breath later to kind of like push further into that, but, and then bring your hands up, and you can feel the stretch in your back, and the balance from your legs. And this is a really great way to like build a solid foundation. And it demands focus and determination. And then to bring it to where you're two, you're gonna stretch your arms out with your fingers kind of pointed and look over the fingertips of your um, forward hand. There you go. Super dramatic, you know, you can take a picture of this for your next piece of the profile. And then we can bring it back up. Yeah. Okay, and then moving into your performance and control, we have the lotus pose, which you do not have to get on the floor if you don't want to. Um, but Amanda will. <laughs> <laughs> or you, know, you can sit on the table too, either one. So um, yeah, but this is a chance to check in with your breathing. Um, usually it's towards the end of your practice or before you go into more of the sitting poses. Um, 
I like this because I'll usually do like hip stretches um, from this pose, which is great if your hip flexors are tight from sitting a lot. You can like kind of rock forward and like stretch over both knees. Um, but what we're going to do is kind of recenter and think about our, how our project went and <laughs> anything that we could like to change or um, you know maybe do differently next time. So you can like close your eyes in this pose and really breathe. I'm just checking in with your body for the project, seeing how things are. Right? Yeah. In our next pose, project project pose. pose. the project close pose mm -hmm. is the corpse pose, my favorite, where <laughs> literally just lie on the floor. It's great. I'm going to do this one too. She's going to do this one too. You don't have to. You're a great dead body, Amanda. You're filming it. Okay. <laughs> right. So this seems like it's a really basic boring pose, but it's a lot, it's an active rest where you're checking in with your body, you're focusing on your breathing, you're, you're seeing what worked, what didn't, what you're taking away from your practice, and just kind of focusing in on your environment, taking everything in, and just really thinking rather than, I mean, sometimes people have no to then you know fall asleep during this pose or in a yoga class, that's totally fine. That means that you're really relaxed and that means that you were better at yoga than everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works, I think. Well, all right. So um, yeah, basically furthering this idea that agile sprints are like the vinyasas in yoga. Um, you're breathing through each one of the movements, like we just kind of acted them out really quickly. Um, but if you were doing this, you would breathe through each one of the poses, and each breath you would try and like stretch um, that pose a little bit more, stretch your fingers out further, or like maybe bend your knee more, and that is what builds strength and um, creates that stronger practice the next time. So now we have a five to ten minute yoga flow that Amanda has prepared. This is optional. If you guys want to do this, you totally can. Um, this is bringing it all together and. Uh, basically what we just did, flowing through to um, actually getting a chance to connect your breath um, with your movement. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 